Right, I'm going to show you how to convert binary into hexadecimal and hexadecimal back into binary. Okay, so I'm um, going to start off with a very simple one. We're going to start off with a number uh, one. Whoops, ah, I've got a stupid thing. One four seven. Oh my days! I'm off the screen. Right, one four seven. There we go. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is convert that into a binary number. Okay, so obviously with binary we count up in, um, well we double the number, so it's one two four. 8, 16, 32, 64, etc. So to make 147, we need to have the binary number 1, 0, 0, 1, uh, 0, 0, 1, 1. So that's 1 and 2, not 4 and 8, but 16, okay? And we need the 64. Oh, sorry, 128. So 128 plus 16 plus 2 and 1, okay? The next step, once we've got our binary number, very simply, is actually just to break the number down into two parts. Now instead of it being 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, this is worth 1, 2, 4, 8. Oops. This is also 1, 2, uh, 4, and 8. And then what we do is we work this out into separate values. So 2 and 1 is equal to 3, and 8 and 1 is equal to 9. So in hexadecimal, our denary value of 147 is actually represented by 93, not 93, 93. Okay, so before I show you the next example, uh, what we have to understand is as well is that because it's hexadecimal numbers, we actually have 16 numbers in total. They range from 0 to 9. And then 10, because that's got two digits, we can't represent it with two digits. We have to have just one digit. So 10 becomes A, 11 becomes B, 12 becomes C, 13, D, 14, E, and 15 is F. Now I said there are 16 numbers. Zero is a number. So zero to 15 is 16 different variations of number. Okay. So the next number I'm going to show you, okay, is two, two, three. Now to represent two, two, three as binary, we have one hundred twenty-eight plus sixty-four plus sixteen plus eight, four, two, and one. Okay, one plus two plus four plus eight plus sixteen plus sixty-four plus one hundred twenty-eight is two, two, three. We break this number down into its two component parts, 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, oops, 4 and 8, Let's just bring that back, uh, and then we work this out, so 15 for that one, uh, and then we've got 8 and 4 is 12, plus the 1 is uh, 13. Okay. And then what we do is we use our table to convert, so 13 becomes D, and 15 becomes F. So 223 is represented in hexadecimal by D and F. If we were to work backwards, we just do the same thing. So let's just take a random, uh, well, let's just take F and F. Okay, so it's, it's an easy one. F and F. You split it down the middle. We know F is 15. So what we do is we write the binary values for that. So... 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. We then join these two together to make one long binary number. So it's 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Whereas this one is worth 128. This one is worth 1. If you add up all of them, the total will be 255. So F and F represents the value 255. And that's how you work it backwards. Okay, each letter represents a value. Okay, so because we only use single digits, zero to F, zero to nine, A to F, it represents a value. We never need more than four bits because F represents fifteen. Fifteen is the largest number we can make with four bits. You join it all together, calculate your binary like you normally do, and everything is done. So I hope that video helps and you can use it as part of your revision when it comes to your exam.